Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create one-sided movement connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Okay, now we are going to create column. So click on T and select this column and pick the first point at here to create column here and click on here to create one more column like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we are going to create beam at this location. So select this beam and pick the first point at end of this column and pick the second point end point of second column to create beam like this right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw beam okay now we're going to create one sided movement connection between column to beam so go to application and components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in such board type one side okay you will get this component one sided beam to column flange movement connection so select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam to create connection between column to beam like this. And now close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, create a view. To rotate view, use the sh shortcut control R, you can click on here view and then select this navigation or select this point to rotate with mouse and click on this point at here to fix the rotation point, then you can rotate like this. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut control R also like this. Okay, by default, we have the movement connection like this. Okay, now, now we're going to edit this connection. So, double click on this component symbol. You can see, you'll get like this. Okay, uh, to edit this intermediate or this plate connection, you need to go to the component number 146. So, first of all, we're going to change this web plate connection. So close this window and click on space, right click on mouse to review. Now go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search bar type number 146, you'll get this component here, 146. You need to edit this component at here to change this updates here. So double click on this component symbol. Now close this window and zoom it here. and you use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point and you can rotate like this you can see to maintain here the gap half inch you need to enter here half inch now go to place tab in plates you can control this plate thickness for example we're going to take here half inch now go to bolts tab in bolts you can control the bolt size uh, for example, we're going to take here bolt size 5 by 8 and the tolerance is 1 by 16. And you can choose the bolt standard from this list. Okay, I'm going with the default. So, coming to the bottom, from top of beam to first bolt distance, we're going to take here 4 inch and the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate. Let's take here 1.5 and here also 1.5 and number of bolts we're going to take here 4 bolts. Uh, in four columns for four rows you can say one two three default we have three rows for example we're going to take four rows and the spacing we're going to take 2.5 and coming to the number of columns let's take here number of columns two and the spacing is a 2.5 and edge distance let's take 1.5 and from beam edge to first ball distance we're going to take two then click on modify Click on modify and right click on mouse interrupt. Now select this component, then click on modify to see the update like this. You can see by default you will get like this. But at this moment we don't require any uh, this backup plates. So go to beam cut. Now we don't require this uh, type of connection at this location and at this location. So click on here and select without backup plate like this. Then click on modify. Okay, you'll get like this. Okay, now I'm going to save this connection. So click on modify, apply. Then you can see at the top you have an option here, save as, moment with this name. So click on save as then click on modify apply at the bottom 
modify apply and ok at the bottom of the window now we have the connection like this now I'm going to update this connection into the one-sided movement connection so close delete this component here then click on space right click on mouse to review okay now go to the application components and type here one-sided you will get this component then select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam right click on mouse interrupt now I'm going to update this connection at this location so double click on this component symbol now click on here and type here in search for 146 and double click on this component to update 146 in attribute click on here we need to select this uh, attribute because we have saved in this uh, name attribute name moment uh, connection to the column flange so select this uh, name then click on ok now click on modify close this window now click on modify to uh, see the changes here then click on modify you can see now have this connection at this location you can see with the spacing and number of volts as we required as we entered in 146 connection so you don't have any options to change the spacings and number of volts in this component oh, that's why we need to load and we need to click on modify apply to see the changes in this connection okay now go to play step in plates you can control this cap plate at the top of this plate we can call it call it as a cap plate so you can change this thickness of this cap plate let's take off inch then click on modify you can see now we have this thickness of this plate is off inch for example we're going to change 1 by 4 then click on modify you can see now we have the 1 by 4 better to take off inch here then click on modify like this now coming to width of this plate Now coming to this width, so let's take here width 7 inch, then click on modify, you can see now here this width of this plate is a 7 inch, let's take here 7.5, then click on modify, you can see now we have the width is a 7.5 and thickness is half inch. Similarly, you can change this bottom plate of oh, thickness and width from this option you can see lower plate for example you can see now we're going to change the thickness and width here so select this plate now enter here uh, let's take thickness 1 by 4 then click on modify you can see now here the thickness is 1 by 4 let's take here half inch then click on modify now coming to this width let's take here 8 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the 8 inch okay let's take 7.5 then click on modify like that okay okay in between this uh, beam and plate we have here the filler plate you can control this filler plate thickness from this option for example we're going to take here 1 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the filler plate thickness is 1 by 4 like this okay if you don't require any filler plate then click on here and select without filler plate and then click on modify you will get like this now you need to enter here the spacing uh, to insert this beam into this between these two plates in the side so let's take here one by four then click on modify uh, to maintain the gap here like this without filler plate you can maintain gap like this okay better to take uh, with the filler plate then click on modify you'll get like this as you record you can change from here now coming to this spacing here this plate is outside of this flange uh, with the spacing here off inch for example if you want to increase you can increase from here let's take 3 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now we have 3 by 4 let's take off inch here then click on modify like this okay now coming to this uh, upper walls so rotate like this upward direction by using the shortcut control r you can rotate like this now select this connection now coming to this number of volts you can uh, change this number of volts and bolt size and edge distance in lengthwise and widthwise from upper volt option click on this upper volt tab now come to here 
this you can see from beam edge from this beam edge to first bolt distance you can control from here for example we're going to take here three inch then click on modify you can see now from beam edge to first bolt distance should be three inch from this option okay let's take two then click on modify let's take here 2.5 then click on modify you'll get like this now coming to this number of bolts in lengthwise you can control from here for example we're going to take here four bolts then click on modify you can see now we have the four bolts with the spacing we're going to take here 2.5 click on modify you can see now the spacing between the two bolts should be 2.5 from this option let's take three then click on modify you'll get like this okay coming to this width wise uh, in the width side you can control from here from bolt to bolt distance here let's take here 2.5 then click on modify you can see now the spacing between the two bolts should be 2.5 from in the width wise let's take here 3 then click on modify you'll get like this now coming to this bolt size you can control this bolt size from this option by default we have 3 by 4 inch for example we're going to take here 5 by 8 then click on modify you can see now this bolt size should be 5 by 8 okay coming to this bolt standard by default we have a 325n if you want to change the bolt standard you can change from this list as you required as per the design okay by default we are going to take this a325 and and the tolerance is 1 by 16 by default we have the tolerance is 1 by 16 if you want to increase the tolerance then whole size will be increased okay depends upon your requirement you can increase the tolerance as you require okay now we have the here the option is a site on workshop this bolt should be uh, fitted in the site so we need to select here this option is the site then coming to the lower side bolt similarly you can change this lower side bolts also with the similar options for example you can see select this connection now here you can see from edge of this beam to first bolt distance we have the 2 inch let's take here 2.5 inch then you click on modify now we have the 2.5 inch now coming to this number of columns let's take here number of columns 4 and the spacing we are going to take here 2.5 inch then click on modify you will get like this ok now we are going to take the spacing is the 3 inch then click on modify now the spacing between the two posts should be 3 inch from this option and number of uh, rows are 4 1 2 3 4 in lengthwise now coming to the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate by default we have the 1.5 inch let's take here 2 inch then click on modify you can see now the this spacing should be 2 inch okay similar to this spacing 2 and a half inch here you can see now we have the 2 1 and a half inch at the top so at the bottom also we're going to take here the edge distance from bolt to edge 1.5 inch then click on modify like this now coming to this width wise we have the spacing between the two bolts is three and off by default let's take here 2.5 then click on modify you can see now we have the 2.5 let's take here three then click on modify you can see now the spacing between the two bolts should be three inch in the width wise okay then click on modify apply ok then click on space right click on mouse read review now use a shortcut ctrl r and pick the rotation point and yeah, then you can rotate like this ok that's it about how to create one sided beam to column flange moment connection in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech plus structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech plus structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you